So, I have two things for anyone who cares. The first one is when you're doing a middle split, some tips to make it better. So, get in a straddle, um, pretty comfortable one, not your biggest one. You don't want it to hurt. And then practice flexing your feet and pointing them. And make sure that you know the difference between your toes pointing up or back and then being down like this, which usually means your hips are turned down toward the floor. So once you have your feet turned out like this and you're sitting on your hip bones, try to relax your hip flexors, push down with your sitting bones, and then pick one leg up and move it back. These will engage again. Try it on both sides, and then eventually you can do other things like little circles, with or without your hands down for support. But you don't want too much support in your hands. You just want them to be more of a guide. So pick it up, move it back, make the circles. And this trains your rotators to pull your hips out. Okay. The next thing to do is, let's check it out quick. When you practice going forward, like if you're working on um, moves like spatchcock, if that's still a move anyone does, I do. <laughs> um, you want to practice getting a full, the full range of motion around your legs. And most people start with the floor, so you want to be able to go to the side and think of getting your back on your leg. Um, you can do this too, but this will give you a bigger range of motion. And then walking it around. Do that a number of times. And then when you get pretty good at that and you can lift your legs up, you want to try to come forward without using any support. So. You're training your hips to stay rotated and your stomach to support your torso. So you can come almost all the way forward or all the way without using any support. One other thing is when you are coming forward, try to think of getting your stomach, your belly button to the floor versus your forehead and try to make sure you're keeping your toes pointed or at least your leg rotated so that if you flexed your foot your toe would point up or back. So with the toes pointed up or back, belly to the floor. And as you get more advanced you can do this rotate, rotating stretch so that you also arch it to the back. My back is hurt, so I'm not very good at that one right now. But you can practice it if you have a flexible back. And then it comes right here, where instead of continuing to just lean back, you pull your stomach muscles in, and you let your head drop back until it probably will touch the floor. And then keep rotating around. All right, good luck.